Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a very simple manicure idea. It's a dream catcher nail art. This was requested by one of my subscribers for me to do, actually by a ton of you guys. Um, so I decided to do kind of like a simpler version so you guys could really make this your own manicure. You could use any colors that you want. I hope that you like it and if you have any other nail tutorial, nail tutorial requests for me to do, leave them in the comments down below. And if you do try out this manicure, then send me a photo on Facebook or Twitter at Mist and Fabulous. But I hope that you enjoy the video and let's get into the tutorial. The first step to create your dream catcher is to draw a half circle down from the cuticle area. Then for the inside part of the dream catcher, you could really create any kind of shapes that you want because all dream catchers are different and they're sewn differently, but I found the best way to get the most realistic kind of dream catcher and also the easiest way is to draw little triangles, almost like you're creating, almost like you're creating a little pizza pie like that and you're just going to go around in a circle creating more triangles. Like so. Then you're just going to draw little lines connecting that design to the outer edge. You're going to want to create a couple different lines coming down from the dream catcher so you can draw either feathers or beads, however you really want to like decorate your dream catcher. Picked up some hot pink polish. This is the shade Flip Flop Fantasy by China Glaze and I'm using my dotting tool and I'm just going to put down a couple dots to kind of um, imitate what would be beads hanging down. You could even draw feathers if you wanted to, depending on how long your nail is. If you had a lot more space, you could draw little feathers hanging down. Um, but I'm just going to try and keep this as simple as possible, especially because the actual netting part of the Dreamcatcher is really busy, so I don't want to overpower this manicure with too much going on. The very last step is to just add a couple little beads in the top part of the Dreamcatcher. And I'm just going to put one right in the center and then along the outside of that little triangle design that we made. So here is the finished manicure. On my thumb I just drew a little feather which is really simple and easy to do just by drawing a long line and then little lines coming off of it. Um, I just added a top coat, my favorite top coat which is Sedge Feet. Um, and I think this manicure is super cute and unique. I love that the thumb is different. I think it just makes the manicure a little bit more special but it's very easy to do. It looks a lot more complicated than you know you would think. So. I hope that you guys like it and try it out and send me photos on Facebook or Twitter if you do try it out. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to send me your photos if you try something similar out. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, oh, I will have photos of this manicure on my blog, polishandpearls.com. The, the, the direct link below, I cannot speak, will be um, in the description box so you can see like the photos of this particular manicure. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.